Hey guys, I'm just gonna do a quick video to show you how to set up your Riedel frame, whether that's an artist or a 1024, and get that, get that going through Director. Um, so yeah, let's get started right away. First thing you're gonna wanna do is open up your software. We're gonna do this all offline. I do have a system here with me, um, but that point is mute. This video is really just to show you how to get a file set up and configured so that when you get on site, you can push it and be ready to go. Um, so first thing you'll see is that we've opened up and there's nothing in there. So uh, at the top here, you're gonna see that there's these different icons. And sometimes depending on the software, you just downloaded it, you can move these, you can do all sorts of stuff with them. They could be on the sides. So they might not be in the same spot. And if they're not even there, if you hit view, um, I'll take away something so that you can see like navigation bar. Navigation bar just went away. Now if I view again, I can bring it back. So these, these all can go away. You just gotta bring them back up. First thing we're gonna wanna do is tell it what frame we're using. And that's kind of a big part of Riedel and its architecture is that you really have to build, you have to tell the system what is in it and what it is capable of so that you can utilize it. It doesn't, it wants you to be the creator. It doesn't wanna tell you how to do things. So with that, we need to tell what frame we're working with. So we go up to the top here and there's all these different frames. And I have a 128 frame locally here. So we'll hit that and it'll pop in and it's red. Um, we're offline the whole nine. This is just, you know, for the purpose of getting things going. If you've already talked to your tech manager and you happen to know the address of the node and the IP address of the node, then we can set those up very easily. You'll hit properties and you'll see address of node. And this is for the situation where you have multiple nodes or in a ring loop or on the system via trunking or something. So they, they would wanna be separate addresses, of course, and that's separate from the IP address. Um, you can get that from your tech manager or I'll show you later in another video how to get that information from an online frame. So we'll keep that there and then you would also want to set up your IP address to talk to the uh, frame and this is where you would do it. So that was settings, uh, set local IP address, pretty simple. Um, so then you would be online and ready to go if you needed to go that route. Um, the next thing we want to do is tell this frame what is going on in it. So let's go to this hierarchy here and you'll see that this is our main navigation bar. This is how we're gonna literally program everything that this, this system has to offer, essentially. This is how we'll get to all of our items and then program them from there. So we have a network, which is a hierarchy tree, and we see we have net number one and it has a node number one in it. Well, we're in net number one and there's node number one. So it's just showing us what's in our node. And it has ID two, which I was showing you is address two. So we can label this differently in the whole nine, uh, but currently in the frame, there's nothing there. If we go to ports, there's nothing there. If we go to groups and conferences, there's the Dynaconf, which it has to be there, but there's nothing else. Um, scroll list, all this stuff is blank. This is a brand new file. So what you would wanna do is double click on your node and we'll see that this is now your node system, node number one. And it has the different bays and it's basically saying what is in the bay, card type, um, port wise, what is it? And this, these are all gonna be pretty standard. Obviously you're gonna go up in port count, but you need to tell it in A and B, what type of uh, CPU card you're using. So for what I have here, and what you talk about with your tech manager, whoever, your contact, um, which one do you have? Well, we have with fiber connections. So we're gonna do two of those. And then you're gonna start telling it what cards are in which bays. So let me give you a quick look at the frame, just so you have an idea, a visual of what's going on. This is the frame I have on site here. And um, off, to, off to the left, we have, uh, those are the CPU, or yeah, CPU cards. And to the right, we have analog cards, some Dante cards, and AS67. So um, at the top here, you'll see it says A, B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and all the way up to 16. Well, those are the bays. So when I come over here, um, we have bay 1, 2, 3, 4, and all the way up to 16. So let's just kind of build a short one. Let's click on that. We said that was AS67 because that was on the left. We'll say this one was AS67. Let's do one for Dante, even though that's not necessarily true where it's located. Let's just do it. Boom. So now we've told this frame that it has three cards in it. But what are those ports associated to? So it gets a little in depth. Um, you got to tell every single port on that card what it's supposed to be. So let's show that with an AS67. You click on that, and it gives you all these options. 1100 series, uh, all these 1200 series miscellaneous, and um, AS67 four wire. And these are the recently used. So these are all key panels. This is miscellaneous stuff. Um, you know, Bolero, this could be a trunk line. 
and this is just uh, you know in and out xlr essentially but through digital ip so um we have bolero on this show so i'm just going to do a bolero uh, this is my recently used so boom boom and then let's do a key panel and you would obviously go and see what model number key panels you have and tell what port to be associated in um let's do something on this card just so you can see it let's do as four wire and then let's do a four wire on this one as well so you can either just do an input and output only which is kind of a waste of a port or you do in and out so now we got some stuff associated let's go to our hierarchy tree we now see that there's a little plus icon if i click on that it has in our tree what we just associated to each bay. So bay one, AS67, Bolero one, two, and then a key panel on port three. Each card holds eight ports in this frame. So it knows that because we told it that this node number one is at artist 128. It knows that there's 16 bays. That's why we're telling it all this stuff. Um, the second card has, you know, uh, this four wire in it, and then this has four wire in and out as well. And this one is a split four wire, so they're completely separate versus this one has functions in it that uh, can relate to both ports at the same time, kind of like a party line if we wanted to associate in and out. So we've now just told this that, hey, I have some Bolero bell packs, I have a key panel, and I have some four wire, and I have, uh, yeah, some Dante. The last thing is really setting up your IP scheme. So whoever your contact with is, or if you're just doing it yourself, um, you wanna set up a, a spreadsheet of some sort uh, for your IP um, subnet and what, devices you're going to have in it and you can just follow that it's real simple um we here at my uh, company we kind of keep everything with the uh, the default of Riedel, which is 192.168.42 since we buy new panels and they're already set to that so if i was going to go that route i can uh, tell the card because this is an ip card i need an ip address you know i need to give it an address i can right click on it and hit properties and go in here and give it an ip address so we would do that you know 192 and go on so on so forth we give it subnet a gateway if we needed to all this stuff um we'll get into individual cards and, and their properties on a different video but yeah you know you can set that up and that's how you would set up each card now and then the last thing would be if you know you have key panels in bolero um you essentially can do the same thing hit properties of that port and in here this has a bolero tab with its bolero user id and its multicast group address you can learn how to set this up via the manual and we'll have a separate video as well to go over this. It's not hard, it's actually really simple, but it just takes some getting used to. So this last thing is the um, the key panel. You see, we'll go in here and it has AS67 and it has an IP address and it has these other settings. So same thing, you can set it all up so at least it gets talking right away. Um, past that, you would set up all your stuff and we'll see that we go to ports now and we actually have ports in here. And in here, you can do all your labeling. So I can hit this and uh, there's two ways to label. If you hit F2, and, or I'm sorry, yeah, if you hit F2 and you edit cell, then you are in here and you can type in what you want. And then if you uh, do the same thing over here, edit cell, or you can hit F2, this is the uh, characters that the people will see on their belt packs. So we just did that port, and just to give you an idea real quick, um, I just labeled this belt pack, whatever that is, right? And let's go to this guy. Well, if I wanna give him this port 1.2 user, a point to point to this crazy user, I can just click, drag and drop. And you'll see that that eight character alpha is the one that he sees and that's there. And then this is the long name that we get to use for description based things. So yeah, that's just pretty much it. Um, once you get online, uh, you can hit push to frame and the areas that you want when you get online at, at site and you don't know the address, you don't know the IP address, uh, you really need to talk to someone for the IP address. You would log in, hit settings and hit IP address local node, and you would hit this little question mark, artist online view. And now you're seeing the online view and you can actually right click on the, the node that ends up here and you can see its address, its ID. And then you can at least get the right ID and um, be able to push to the frame. The last thing is these three icons are your biggest ones. This opens from frame when you're online. This one overwrites the frame and this one just sends and merges the frame. So this is what you want when you have multiple users. You're not overwriting every time, you're just merging your different changes to an existing file. This one's saying, now I want the whole file pushed in, which is what you do on a new setup. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The last thing is this net. The net is what literally turns on the network. So if I turn this on right now, I'm not gonna push the file, but if I hit on, you'll see that it's gonna try to connect to artist and it connected because I have a frame here. Now, if I hit open from artist, just so you guys can see it in action, Everything we just did, will be just, we're gonna get rid of it. We're gonna log in. 
and there's my frame it's online here's all my ports and here is my entire uh, hierarchy so yep this is how you set up your frames pretty simple and it's a uh, it's a good time thank you